In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create not just a basic sword, but one with knockback, VFX, combos, and more. Let's get started. First, go to the link in the description and get the sword model. Place the model into studio and ungroup everything and move them into the correct location. While it comes with a sword, we're going to make a new one to teach you how everything works. First, make a sword model. Here's one I made in Blender. Add an invisible part called the handle where you want the tool to be held. Make sure all the parts are unanchored and can collide is off. Then add a weld constraint to all of the parts of your sword, with part 0 being the parent part and part 1 being the handle. This just connects all the parts so the sword doesn't fall apart. Next, add a tool and move all the parts into the tool and name it whatever you want. If you put it into the starter player, you'll see you now copy the slashing script from the other sword and paste it into your new one. This handles the animations and tells the server when we swing. The sword now has animations, but you still can't hit anything. That's because you must add the data about the sword in the weapon templates. Create a new entry and title it what you called your sword. Add in the different properties and change them however you'd like. Now the sword fully works, but the animations are still boring. Let's add some better animations. First, add in a rig. I'm going to spawn in a R6 rig, but you can use an R15 one if that's what your game uses. If you want your game to be an R6, switch it in the avatar settings. Now paste the sword into the rig, and go to the animation editor. Now animate a swinging animation by creating different keyframes. I'd share my animation, but Roblox only allows you to play your own animations. A tip for animating, especially as a beginner, is to look at examples online. That will help you see what a good sword animation looks like. Once finished, set the animation priority to action and publish it to Roblox. Make sure to copy the animation ID. Now paste the animation ID into the animations for your sword. If you want a combo system, then add multiple animations and change the final cooldown to something larger so there's a delay after the last attack. And now we have a cool combo animation. It's still quiet, so let's add some sounds. Under the handle, add a sound and call it hit sound and another one called swing sound. Add in whatever sound ID you want and adjust the settings to your liking. Now it sounds great. Now when you hit something, you'll also notice these VFX appear. This happens because after we swing, the server is called. Inside the script, it first gets stats about the sword, it plays the sound, and then checks the targets in front of the player. If it finds targets, it damages them, applies knockback, and then tells all clients that we hit something, so they replicate the VFX in this replicator script. The VFX are all played on the clients to prevent the server from lagging. If you want to change the VFX, change the particle emitters under the hit VFX attachment. I'll make a new VFX quickly to show you how to implement one. I enable all the emitters, that way I can see what they look like. Once you're finished with your particle effect, make sure to turn enabled to false and there's an emit count attribute to control how many particles you want to be emitted. And now just paste it back into the replicator script and now you have your brand new particles. And with that, you now have your fully customizable sword system. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.